Is Java still worth learning in 2022? Well, you reached the right video. Let me explain. This video is brought to you by DigiLink Academy, your number one source to learning programming fast and get to that six figure freelance salary you desire. Our courses include our SQL project course, our freelance Kickstarter, our Python course, and our interview programming course, and much, much more. So if you haven't already, go ahead and click the link below to get to our free seven step freelance guide so that we can help take your career to the next level. I'll see you guys in the course. All right, guys, getting questions about should I learn Java in 2022? Every time I hear somebody ask me this question, there's one problem that comes in my head. You have not done your local job market research to determine what the Java demand is in your local area. And that lets me also know you don't have a good idea about your industry and what's in demand as other programming languages as well. And just to get the quick answer, yes, 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 guys. Java is a programming language that has been around for years. It's an enterprise level um, software uh, language that a lot of people use, a lot of legacy code, a lot of things. If you, if you don't take away anything from this video, you gotta know Java have a huge market share as far as just legacy code and uh, popular applications like uh, SAP, uh, Spotify, Cash App, um, a lot of enterprise level software. And any of you guys use Android, you heard of that company? That's their official programming language. Android is not going anywhere no time soon. So just the fact that you give me this question, Java, lets me know you haven't done a lot of research on your actual um, program uh, of your local job market or any job market. A lot of you beginner developers, have the notion to say, hey, just because a, a program language is not popular in the um, new framework space or the new developer space, that means that maybe it's not necessarily in demand from a business industry perspective. And you are wrong. Java, C Sharp, um, C, C++, a lot of these legacy, uh, a lot of these program languages that's not the new sexy Python or anything or the hot goals and things like that. You may think, well, they're not popular within a developer community because they don't have the new fresh frameworks and stuff. Guys, they are billions of lines of code that was written with Java well in advanced mainframe days that still in production today and is going to be in production 20 years from now. The question is how many developers they're going to have to maintain this code and actually keep it updated. And I don't see Java going in no, nowhere anytime soon. What I want you guys to do is first of all, give me your um, perception or what's going on in your industry in the comments below. Let's start a conversation so that I can kind of figure out why you guys are questioning Java. Is it something that you're seeing that I'm not? I would love to be able to hear this. So go ahead and put your um, your feedback in the comment section below so we can start a conversation. Um, that being said, that being said, guys, SAP, a lot of enterprise level stuff. I would say a lot of my stuff in my academy that I teach is around Python, uh, JavaScript, and um, SQL. Um, the reason I don't do Java up front is because Java is that secondary enterprise language where you can write less code with Python, it's more training beginner family Python. And once I teach you Python or SQL or JavaScript, you got that base programming knowledge and you know how to navigate the syntax and read code and all that, then I can introduce you to a Java, a C sharp, a C, something like that, to where it's a little bit more advanced to write certain things. You can take one line of Python, it can be three lines in Java, the exact same process. <laughs> so I try to limit that training to get you to, to understanding programming a lot faster than go to that. Don't take that as Java is not as um, robust as a Python or something because at the end of the day, um, C, uh, C Sharp and Java, if you're talking about enterprise applications, those two are king. 
uh, when it comes to the enterprise SAP uh, productivity sector of it. Uh, once you start to get into the operating system side, at least from a, um, a computer or a mainframe perspective, you start to get into the C, C sharp, uh, no C, um, C plus pluses, things that need to run massively fast. But if you need that middle ground, some enterprise level, multiple developers are gonna be involved, Java and C sharp is gonna be where you wanna be. Then you start to get into um, you need descripting stuff. A lot of you need some fast pace, um, something that you knew for data science. You may be one or two developers. You get your Odoo's, things like that, where you're going to use Python and other uh, programming languages. What I'm saying is there's a hierarchy. <laughs> there's a lot of code that's existing legacy code. And I got a lot of developers who are not going anywhere no time soon. So Java is a programming language that you is still worth learning in 2022, guys. And I don't see that changing anytime soon. I made some notes. I want to make sure I cover that. But before we go into other details, guys, I need to make sure you go ahead and sign up for my seven step guide in the description box is free. Um, go ahead. We talk about other programming languages, um, doing your local job market research, advancing your career, define your career goals and put you in a position to win. So go ahead and fit that. And if you already signed up for my seven step guide, check out some of my premium courses, guys, that's going to help you take your career to the next level and make the money and um, get to your career goals that you want guys so go ahead and support the channel with some of those premium courses links are below to everything uh, that being said guys what I want you guys to do going forward is start to think about problem solving a lot more uh, a lot of you guys are in the forums and I, I want you to be in the forums and all that stuff but I also want you to understand the business side of program I think a lot of you guys are looking at the hobbyist who just use um, the Python, a lot of the other program languages, not Java, because Java is really heavy <laughs> compared to Python or something like that. Uh, but for enterprise development, it's the sweet spot. Um, got a lot of legacy code out there, heavily supported, got uh, uh, companies like Oracle um, and SAP who really are massive companies who and still use it so it got that um, corporate backing and it got a competitor C sharp which is basically the Microsoft version of it but they're almost, almost the same guys if you know C sharp you can easily transition to Java so that's another thing you gotta a lot of you guys don't understand as well because um, if you come into an interview you're a C sharp developer but it's a Java position more than likely they'll pick you up um, you'll actually bring a unique perspective to the table that they want on their team. So that's another reason Java and C Sharp kind of get paired together when you're comparing programming languages as well, guys. That being said, guys, go learn Java. It's worth it. You're not making a mistake. You're going to win. Uh, regardless of most, you stop, you, if you're in the top 10 programming languages, you're good to go. You just need to do your local job market research to ensure that you can get a job when you finish doing your basic learning. So like, subscribe to the content guys. Um, if you haven't already, go check out some of my premium courses, links in, in the description box. And I'll put a link to my seven step guide here on the screen. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.